With sincere apologies to the magnum opus from Mad Max, the soured Kruger Orca passenger liner from Elite Dangerous, and Arthur Morgan's many horses, I have a new favorite ride. The station wagon from Pacific Drive. It didn't look like much at first, just a typical late 80s family wagon with wood paneling and a hatchback trunk, but over the course of the last 50 hours, I've turned it into an armor-plated, radiation-resistant tank positively bristling with sci-fi gadgets, and it's only a little bit haunted. Pacific Drive, the debut game from developer Ironwood Studios, is a first-person driving survival game where you explore a dangerous exclusion zone to gather the resources you need to soup up your ride. Unfortunately, you have to spend a lot of time leaving it behind to run around on foot, and that's where it falters a bit, but only a bit. However, when you're roaring through the hostile world in that glorious, ridiculous wagon, Pacific Drive puts an exciting, fresh new spin on the survival genre. The zone isn't an open world, it's broken up into maps called junctions with crumbling roads that wind through environments like foggy pine forests and misty marshes. The zone, meanwhile, is furious that you're there and will do whatever it can to stop you from leaving alive. Bizarre and deadly anomalies populate these junctions and can put a real damper on your cycle of collecting trash along the road. I found Pacific Drive challenging and exciting. Leaping out of my wagon to loot a building or peel the steel off an abandoned car, scurrying back and flooring it as the anomalies assault me from all sides, gritting my teeth, praying my car's faltering parts would hold out for just a few more seconds as I careened through the trees to reach a safe exit just as the mega storm hit. Pacific Drive stands out from other survival games by transferring most of the survival systems from your body to your car. Food and drink is replaced with power and fuel. Almost everything you'll craft is for your car. In fact, your human body only really has a health bar, and it works to great effect. Compare the pre-planning phase, where you prepare everything you'll need for a journey, to Death Stranding, and it looks pretty similar, just with everything protracted onto your car. Ignore that that's just incorrect use of the word protracted. That's fine. Repairs aren't the only attention you'll have to lavish on your car. Your wagon will also develop quirks due to exposure to the bizarre reality of the zone, also because it's old and run down. These are consistently triggered events that can cause minor annoyances, and they give the car a real sense of personality. But much as I love driving my quirky car through the zone and tending to its every need in my garage, the actual act of gathering all those resources does eventually become a bit of a trudge. There's a thrill to scavenging for a while, leaving your car feels like a vulnerable, naked act as you scuttle fearfully into a building to collect junk or scrap the doors and tires off a wreck. As anomalies and storms begin closing in, adrenaline will make the act of looting a cabin feel like a frantic and fun race against the clock. But there's only so many different types of containers to search, cars to skeletonize, labs to hunt through, and cabins to plunder before it all begins to feel a bit mindless and repetitive. I occasionally wish there were more ways to generate a few much-needed items at my garage, like in other survival games. Maybe by growing swamp eggs in the bathroom sink, or constructing my own little plasma a generator that would at least provide a handful of resources every now and then. But then, this is a driving game, not a farming game. If I needed something, I've got to hit the road. Yes, the occasional overly brutal zone excursion may leave me exasperated, and sometimes the resource collection tasks feel heavily repetitive, but they can't overshadow my fondness for this silly sci-fi station wagon. I'm always thrilled to roar back into the zone for another fruitful mission or frightful failure and I'll happily spend ages in the garage repairing and replacing every single component using scrap metal, duct tape, and lots of love.